guys, welcome back to our reaction to Breaking Bad. Today we are watching season five, episode 15, Granite State, and we're feeling very emotional. Why Why is that? Because we're finishing the show today. Yep. And it's sad. It's actually a couple days after we recorded the last two episodes. We uh, couldn't wait a week. Yeah, we just figured we'd get it, it done. Um, and we have a special guest here for the final two episodes. Cheers uh, to Joining Cade. us is Cade, uh, Kaylin's brother, my brother-in-law. So thank you, Cade, for joining us. Our editor. If you're joining us for the first time, uh, Cade wanted to join us for the uh, for the finale because it has been quite a journey. I can't imagine you having to watch all that by yourself. I, I know, know, that would be insane. <laughs> so crazy. That would have been crazy. I was been... all alone in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> We've been really depressed. Mm. Since we've been depressed. The last one. We've we been, have lives besides Breaking Bad, but yes. <laughs> we've been depressed. No, but we've just been lives. reminding ourselves of our depression. We have. Yeah, we actually just keep looking at each other going, Hank. <laughs> like the, the morning yeah. after the episode that we watched, I woke up and I just instantly started thinking about it. And I was like, oh my gosh. I've woken up in cold sweats. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Had a seizure. We went on a hike. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we went on a hike and we saw two birds flying in the sky and it looked exactly like the <laughs> shot exactly of when like it. Jesse looked up at the sky. I didn't see that. And we got really sad. It's been a lot. This is going to be the it's first been such a show journey. on this YouTube channel that we've reacted to that we actually are coming to the end of it. Mm. Because most of the shows that we've reacted to on this YouTube channel have been shows that have um, seasons that are running currently mm -hmm. honestly it's one of like the worst feelings uh to me uh personally to finish a show because it makes me sad that i'm not going to be spending time watching it anymore yeah, I know. you know it's like um, finishing a book series yeah exactly it's really sad there's exactly. a void but then you get to not worry about spoilers anymore and you get to like watch all the behind the scenes that's the joy stuff. of it that is yeah. the joy of it yeah we we finished the crown yesterday and i felt that mm -hmm. i don't know if you watched the crown but, I haven't seen it all but yeah it's one of my favorite shows mm -hmm. and uh and yeah we finished it and yeah it's always just a, kind of a somber melancholy feeling even if the ending is good mm -hmm. and especially if the ending is bad then it, then it is but I know that it will not be bad for this it will be breaking well, it, bad but it might be depressing yeah it might be it's depressing. gonna be depressing. okay yeah so let's talk a little bit about where we are now and where we think we're going everyone's dead and everyone's going to die <laughs> <laughs> so the episode That's ended great. with how is everyone gonna die a major cliffhanger now? so Walt here, here's probably my main question for you guys. Are we picking up in the future or are we picking up right where the last episode left off? I see. And are we kind of like going to be like chasing up to the future over the next couple episodes to where mm. the season started, you know? I feel like there may be some kind of a mash of yeah. future yeah. and present because we still have to figure out what happened with Jesse. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if a bunch of time passes, is he just a slave for forever? That would be crazy. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I, it's going to pick up where it left off. Yeah. I think it's going to do I a Chris like Nolan thing. There. It's like you're going to kind of be coming at the story from both directions yeah we started uh, the season with the future so right right yeah yeah so it'll be kind of that that same sort of pattern yeah yeah i'm guessing in these two episodes how is it wrapping up how is it wrapping up? That's why I'm here. I know. I I want to know the main <laughs> theories though. No idea. Is Walt dying? Is Jesse dying? Okay. Walt, like Walt has to okay. die. Walt might die. I don't know. I see a possibility of him getting away, of him kind of walking off into the sunset. That I'm going to bet on that. Upsetting. I'm going to bet on that just okay, to fine. play devil's advocate because I think the general intuition is yeah, this will lead to his death, but. For just the sake of argument and playing devil's advocate, I'll just stake that position that that's a possibility. Yeah. Fine, um, I'll say he dies. How does he die? By whose hand? Is it like mutually assured destruction that he's gonna go out like taking down those Nazi guys that he hates because they stole his money? Or is it gonna be some sort of confrontation and they with Hank. Skylar or Hank or Marie or? You Babe, know. Hank is dead. Oh, right. <laughs> what the heck? Why did so you bring sad. that up? Too I meant soon. Skylar, I meant Skylar, Jesse, and Marie. So. Hank! Oh. No! Oh. People, had been hyping up Ozymandias so much that I am truly wondering what is in store for these last... Maybe it's like you just don't speak about these last two episodes. I don't know if they're going to be less crazy and we're kind of on a downward slope. Yeah, right. I don't know how it can get more insane than that last episode. If you guys watched our discussion, I think some of the things that we were reeling from the most was I watched Jane die, the phone call, Hank's death, Jesse's torture, the whole knife sequence. I mean, so everything. Yeah, I mean everything from that <laughs> everything moment. Everything <laughs> I don't I don't even know. Also, though, I'm you like don't the, know what you don't know if Skylar is gonna try to get away. I don't I don't know. She most certainly is not gonna want to go to jail. So yeah. what will she prefer? How will she maybe rendezvous with Walt again? I don't know after all that. I can see it at this what? point in the story, I can see that happening. I'm serious. 
Uh, I can't see that happening. I mean, you don't think she's it's done? Dis- I guess people have Jr. behaved at that. This point? Not Walt Jr. Ma- Marie would have to take like Walt Jr. and Holly yes, or something. But Skyler. But Skyler would never let that happen. Yeah. Because she. I'm just is, saying people have behaved so irrationally throughout this whole show yeah. that I could see. I could see that. I'm not ready for this. I want to start. Okay. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment letting us know what you think of this episode of our reaction. You can get the next episode, which is the only one left. <laughs> it's up on Patreon and full length uncut reactions of the show. You can get it on our Patreon. Also, you'll get early access to the next stuff like El Camino and Better Call Saul and that stuff that we watch. Without further ado, let us get into the second to last episode of Breaking bad. You can come on out. Oh, oh. hello. He's disappearing. Did it, yeah. We all thought that was Walt, right? Store. Right. He's getting a whole new identity. Yeah, I guess so. Sure. Yeah, what about this? I'll Photoshop that out. <clears throat> <laughs> he looks happy. In Nebraska, crazy. what's in Nebraska? You, from now on. It's gonna take me some time to get your new situation fixed. Until then, you're gonna be staying here. I got a place downstairs, out of sight. It's not the Ritz Carlton, but uh, it's comfortable enough for short term. Considering you got your face up on buses and billboards <laughs> all over town, I'm Two days, maybe three. Only thing is, and I don't like to do this, but uh, you'll have a bunk mate. <gasps> Walter? <laughs> is it gonna be still here? For the moment. Mm. He's a special case, gonna take some doing. How's he holding up? You be the judge. Wow. Dang. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Ugh. No! Oh. She doesn't even know where his body is. Steve too. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my gosh. Because they went to get the recording. He broke in and stole all of the information on him. Do you think? The recording of like Jesse's right. testimony oh, and right. stuff. Oh right, no. Yeah, that's right. Door. Like squeaky voices. And I Ooh. thought, maybe, uh, oh my gosh. I knocked on his door, the music stopped, and then he was right there. Wow. Uh, the gun, uh, uh, I hate these guys. Does this just so pussy scared. cry through the entire thing? Shut <laughs> up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just watch. His eyes were so big. Oh. Oh we turn around and there is this kid mm. on a dirt bike. Oh my gosh. Drew Sharp. Oh my gosh. And then out of nowhere, Todd, that opie mm. dead eyed piece of shit, pulls out a gun <laughs> and shoots the kid. Ew. What? Oh! Oh! He killed Drew Sharp. Boom. <laughs> like it was. Oh. Ew. Yikes. Why are his reactions all wrong? <laughs> Hold up. Who taught him emotions? I know. <laughs> Why is he mad at him, though? I think though? we should keep him for a while and get a couple of cooks oh. on that belt. You seriously give me this turn the other cheek crap? He ratted you out, personally. We still got 600 oh, gallons. That's why he's wow. mad. Meth. Who gives a shit about meth? We won the lottery here. We've got all the money in the world. You're talking to me about selling crank? But this is millions, Uncle Jack. No matter how much you got, how do you turn your back on more? But, okay, well. All right. <laughs> 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 it's that Lydia woman. You're sweet on her, you little bastard. <laughs> hey, Kenny, you believe this? Hey, it's all about this right here, huh? <laughs> what does that have to Come do with on. Jesse? Oh, because he wants he to still cook for her. Right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So... These guys are so, so gross. Let's yeah. go back and watch some more of that crybaby rat, huh? Oh, Jesse. <sighs> Baby. He's like, how did my life come to this? He made bad choices. I yeah. just should have said no when Walt came to me and said, you want to cook? cook? Meth? <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't be here now. Oh, buddy. Oh. Ooh, use the paper clip. Good, mm. very good. All right. 
Nice. Yes. It's not gonna work, you know. That wasn't smart of them. Yeah, it's not gonna work, obviously, because things never go well for him. But, but this is a good idea. <sighs> this is mild steel. Hmm. Oh my gosh. All right. This insane man. Can't believe we have to keep looking at him. Kaylin. <laughs> That's where his wife cut him. Give me a list of hitters, mercenaries. Yes, yes, I remember. You've got concerns. Don't worry, we'll take the time to vet them. Make sure there are no undercover cops on the team. Five should do it, providing they're the right Yeah, he just to wants to take them down. Mm -hmm. I think. I'm gonna hate myself for asking, but who are we hitting? Jack Welker yeah. and his men. Yeah. They murdered Hank. They stole my life's work. Yikes. I don't know any hitmen. You know a guy who knows a guy. No, just no, get me Mike the knew guys. Anybody in that world. I'm paying top dollar. We'll find them. You killed Mike. Do you mind if I give you a nickel's worth of advice just for old times' sake? You're worried about your wife and kids. Now, some people, not me, mind you, but some people might say you're leaving her high and dry. Some people would know that as far as the police are concerned, Skyler is a blameless victim. No, no, no. Go ahead. Get it off your chest. Phone call was a smart move. Kudos to you. Uh, odds are it was recorded. Oh. It's for it might even buy her a mistrial. Wow. In a year no. And a half, you, wow. Going There's no point. We in were fooled. Too what? Bad for her, then she's got nothing to trade. That There's apparently no wasn't genuine. Age. It's hmm. missing. Presumed dead. Go apparently. What? Seat. Yeah. The first thing they're going to do, they will Rico your wife and kids. The, the condo is gone. Your bank accounts, they're frozen. Her picture's probably on TV right now. Do Don't you guys understand? You, but I'm getting trying. To her Hold is on. Impossible. Okay. Yeah. The feds are just praying that you'll make contact. The internet, the phone, it's all tapped. Mike was no dummy, but every time he tried to get his nest egg to his granddaughter, it ended up in Uncle Sam's pockets. So you propose what? Stay. Hey, I mean, how much time have you got left? And you bring a barrel full of drug money, maybe that soothes some troubled waters. Maybe they let your family stay in the house. After all, the house predates the criminal enterprise. This changes nothing. What I do, I do for my family. My money wow. goes to my children, not just this barrel, all of it. Dang. I'm going to kill Jack and his entire crew. And I'm going to take back what is mine and give it to my children. And then, and only then, am I through. Wow. Everything good? To find good. You're set. Time to go. You'll be a little longer. Uh, I'm still working on transportation. Change of plans. He's coming with me. No. Uh, no that's We're going not. together. <laughs> like he's just a pawn. <laughs> I'm a civilian. I'm not your lawyer anymore. I'm nobody's lawyer. From here on out, I'm Mr. Low Profile. Just another douchebag with a job and three pairs of dockers. If I'm lucky, a month from now, best case scenario, I'm managing a Cinnabon in Omaha. You're still part of this, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Is his threats very, like coming to fruition now? Oh my gosh. Do it again. Told you. Oh God. Wow. I'll send you to Belize. <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, your cancer kills you. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's uncomfortable. It's over. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Saul. See ya. Bye. Well, I wonder if that's it. Next, we'll see him in a Cinnabon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Mrs. White. Wow. Are you following all this? Nope. Do you understand what's happening here? Yes. I understand I'm in terrible trouble. I understand that you will use everything in your power against me and my children unless I give you Walt. But the truth is I can't give you what you want. I don't know where he is. Should have followed your lawyer's advice back in season three. <laughs> 417. No activity. Smoking and drinking. Yeah, was, yeah. Great. Both at once. Great. Just uh, double up there. She doesn't care anymore. Past that. <gasps> oh my god. Oh goodness. Todd! Oh. It's Todd. Oh no! Is there anybody else in the house? Oh my gosh! What about your son? Am I gonna see him? He's not gonna pop out and surprise me? Oh my god. If this guy takes his hand away, are you gonna scream? What the heck? Please don't hurt my baby, please. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of respect for your husband. There's just 
something that we gotta straighten out. Okay, we know that you've been talking to the police, oh and that's okay. You gotta do that. But you've seen some people. Oh my gosh! The lady who came into the car wash. You said anything about her? You sure about that? It's so creepy. The police don't need to know anything about her. Okay, now I'm gonna need you to say it. Will not say anything about her ever. Oh my gosh. I swear. Yeah. <sighs> Ugh. I hate him so much. <laughs> okay. When we leave, you're not gonna go running to those police officers out front? You really don't want us coming back. Oh. Oh. I hate him. <laughs> that was a jump scare. Ugh, I know. What the heck? I hated that so much. <gasps> My goodness. Ugh. Why is he like this? What is he? I can't believe we're Ew, and now him. he's. On a date with her at the same coffee shop. Here's the new Heisenberg. <laughs> Heisenberg, that's crap at making meth. <laughs> He's like, I'm going on a date. Don't stay where you are. We'll talk like this. <laughs> like She's doing this Mike. again. I feel like that looks weirder than. Yeah. That's way more of a, like. <laughs> He's being obvious. Than, yeah, it's way. <laughs> I have to say the name. Oh, of course, this came from her. Yeah. Really good. Uh, she's right. such a freaking loud and clear. <sighs> scaredy baby. Chamomile tea with soy milk, please. And I'll need more stevia. Burn her stevia. <laughs> she's so bad. I hate her. I kind of wish Mike killed <laughs> her. <laughs> I know. You're not Western Union, Todd. We can't just settle for you sending messages. Really, if you'd been there, I think you'd see it different. We threw a real scare into her. She seems like a nice lady watching out for her kids. Okay. Oh my gosh. You're not going to have a problem. Right? <laughs> Pretty much guaranteed. I wish I had your certainty. I'm not used to this kind of well, risk. What's she asking? We're gonna have to take a break. I, I have 50 pounds vacuum packed and ready to go. And I wish you all the luck in the world with it. It's 92 percent. Dang. What the heck? Wow. Oh, because Jesse. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Jesse. 92 wow. percent. He's too good. Tested it twice and it's blue just like before. She's so greedy. Mm-hmm. Heisenberg level. Well, not quite. No. It's so I obvious that they're talking to each other. It's so I know, funny. this is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> like, I would be so weirded out if I saw this. I'd be like, they're what? Okay. <clears throat> we're not going to find him. He's with us, and he's not going anywhere. Uh, Miss Quill, this is what you guys in Europe have been begging for, right? I just think we work together good. We make a good team, I think. And it's kind of mutually good. <laughs> <laughs> he creeps me out so much. It's so wrong. I can't. It's so weird. This is so funny. It's so obvious. Wait, what is he doing? He like picks something off of his back. Ugh. Is he in a barrel with the uh, in a pipe? Yeah, it's a. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, that that's was wild. Probably comfortable. Propane. It's snowy. What the heck? His hair. Lambert. New Hampshire. Mm. Yeah, he's. Welcome to oh the my hands. gosh! Wow, there we go. And his hair is growing. We're catching up. So wait, how much time has passed between that last shot and this shot? Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be. Mm, this is crazy. I don't know. Let's have, have a look at this place. If they drove all the way to New Hampshire, you got maybe a couple days. A month's yeah. Worth of food on hand. This cook. guy wow. is good at his job. Well, he's got to be. TV front, on. the reception's pretty <laughs> much nil. Pretty high. <laughs> got some mountains in the way. Weather's right, you might be able to catch Montreal, but mostly you'll be limited to DVDs. Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. <laughs> what the heck? Two copies. <laughs> I'm not much of a movie guy. I'll make a supply run next month. $50,000 for a trip to Costco. Whoa. It's risk. <laughs> wow. And risk is what you're paying me for, not toilet paper. Dang. Risk and a 4,400 mile round trip. Wow. That's Mr. Lambert. Cool. My clients and I Mr. don't Lambert. usually have an nice. ongoing relationship. Normally, you and I would have already gone our separate ways, but you're you. Where's the phone? No phone. Ice storms equal service calls equal you in cuffs. Wow. Internet? Same deal. Look, I have business to conduct. 
Your business is your business. My business is keeping you out of custody. You are the target He's got a nice of a nationwide manhunt. Mm -hmm. Your face is all over TV. You are the hottest I client it. I have ever had. <laughs> the hottest far. client. Nice. It stands to reason you've got to keep out of sight. And what's keeping me from walking out that gate? Nothing. There's a little one-horse town eight miles down the hill. If you leave this place, you will get caught. Wow. Mm. And I got to tell you, if I find out that you've left the reservation, I won't be coming back. What sure. if he has a disguise? Sure. You know how to work the stove? The yeah. flu can be tricky. I got it. You paid good money for this. Got two acres up here, lots yeah, he's of like woods. Yeah, the nice dream life. Place. Yeah. Seems to me just the spot for a man Sounds to rest great. up. Except that he has Think to be I'm alone with himself. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst part. If you look around, it's kind of beautiful. Been very helpful. Thank you. Mm. Wow. Oh, up just there alone him with your his money. barrel of money. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Is he leaving already? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. He's too smart. He knows how to get by unseen. Yeah. No, I don't know. This is just his rest place for money. <laughs> Finally got a money house. What did he just realize? His hat. Oh my gosh. There's the song. Mm -hmm. The hat song. Yeah. It's the hat song. Oh. Wow. All right, buddy. What is he doing? Well, he won't see you in a month then. Eisenberg, where are you going? Okay, bye. Very pretty. Cold air, cold air probably doesn't help. Mm -hmm. His cough, you know? Yeah. That was better judgment. He needs to think about this. His gears are turning. Why did he put on his hat? Tomorrow. Give it a day. Tomorrow. Okay. I love a little cabin in New Hampshire. It sounds lovely. It does. Even with the snow? Yeah. It sounds nice. If you have a warm cabin. Yeah. I'm sure the snow would get tiring after a while. Yeah. Sure, sure. Still, I would try it out at least. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <gasps> Buddy? Is he trying to, is there a lock up above that he needs to lock back? Oh my gosh. Wow! Oh, you're so close. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, frick. Is that my chocolate chip, is it? You gotta spoil him. Bury your hand between your hey, legs you or something. Yeah. Oh, he got them back on. Wow. Yeah, it's at least. Jerry's. They're giving him <laughs> ice cream. Jerry's. Peanut butter cup and Americone mm. dream. Why are they giving him ice cream? Like, so I got so they had extra. It's totally like um, Walter and Crazy Eight. Yeah. At the beginning. This is so weird. <laughs> Why would they give care. him ice cream? Hope keeps him going. Maybe. It's just, it's just extra food they have. So that batch that you just cooked? Whoa. 96%. Dang. Wasn't that like Gail's? Deserved a little something. Yeah, Gail was 96. Dang. Thanks. Jesse. That's why. He's so good. <sighs> Go away. Leave. <laughs> Better get some sleep. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. That was weird. A whole new batch. Hey, uh. Uh, you mind uh, leaving the talk off tonight? <laughs> okay. I might get cold. No, I, I don't mind. I just, I just want to see the stars. <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> well, good night, Jesse. Good night. <laughs> you guys friends? <laughs> yeah, I think they're Does nice. he think they're friends? Yay. Okay. Come on, Jesse. Escape yeah, scene. Get away from these freaks. You can do it, buddy. Faster now. How is he gonna get up there, though? Can't get tall enough. Even if he took his clothes off yourself. and added it to the pile, it's not enough. Why does a pit like this even exist? Like, what is its function? Storage? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. It's storage, but I guess. Yes! Yes! Wow. yes. Good job! Nice. <laughs> Oh god, that's scary. You that have arm so strength. Difficult to unlock that and he's gonna be game, weak from possibly. lack of stuff. Oh, Come on, you gotta go fast. Yeah, your energy. 
wonder how long he waited to. You can do it, bud. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, the suspense. He's gonna fall. No, it's not gonna work. He's gonna fall. He's gonna fall. No, he's gonna fall. Come on, bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah, he said his keyword. It unlocked the power. <laughs> <laughs> his keyword unlocked the power. Oh my Holy goodness. Holy crap. Please, get away. Climb over the barbed wire. Where it's worth it, dude. They? It's worth it. Yeah. He's done it before. Oh right? no. No. Please tell me the camera. Camera. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <gasps> no! no! Oh, he was no, no, so no, close! No. Do it! Do it! Oh. He tried so hard. Just kill me now, get it over with, because there's no way I'm doing one more cook for you psycho <laughs> Wow! Jesse. Oh. Oh my goodness. Uh. Oh, are they gonna give him nicer conditions now? You serious? No. They're kidnapping her now. Yes. Oh no! You're Andrea, right? You know Jesse Pinkman, right? Well, I'm I can't a friend believe of this. his. My name's Todd. Oh my god. I'm sorry to bother you so late. But... You don't do that. Is he okay? Yeah, no, never yeah, do that. Okay. You don't do that. Actually, I brought him with me. Jesse's here? Yeah, he's right. That is so there, creepy. That is so creepy. Never do that. Oh, yeah. Never Walk ever do there. that. That is such that is what? absolutely just the textbook kidnapping scenario. Why would you do that? No, stop it. Honey. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh no. Do not. Just so you know this isn't personal. No! 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 Time has passed. He can't do it. <laughs> I'm so uh, wow. pissed. Wow. Hey, he hasn't left yet. His beard has grown. Uh, that was horrible. That was just, mm. I just can't. It's been a month. It's been a month, guys. He okay. just gave up. He didn't want to leave after that day or the next. It's been a month. Yeah, he beautiful. looks different. Oh my gosh, he's been trapped with them for a month? Wow. That's crazy. They killed Brock, he right? A couple of cases of he said they're still the kid. Yeah. So they haven't yeah. killed Brock yeah. yet. Yeah. What, what's Brock gonna do? Oh, they killed him. Does he have his grandma? Uh, I don't think they yeah. killed Brock. That's the next. No. If he tries to escape man, again, they're gonna kill him. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of these ought to come close. Uh, uh, horrible. Uh, horrible. Did you, uh, Check on them. Skylar in a better place. Wow. Nah, she's still at that place okay. off of Eubank. Kids are both still with her for the moment. Uh, there's no court date yet. So the phone call Lose was fake? talking about a grand jury, but uh, they didn't say when. I saw her public defender on TV. Looks like a deer in the headlights. Looks like time is just passing like, like we were saying. I him. can't even. What, what are they doing for money? He looks so different. This is the first she's time we've seen him with hair since yeah. the part -time. Beginning. She looks pretty good. And she's using her maiden name. I wouldn't take that personally under the circumstances. Those working for you? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> they took a run by your old house. Uh, the auction's still pending. They wow. put a fence up around it. Wow. Seems like the place got to be kind of a tourist attraction. Hmm. Kids breaking in. You ready? Hmm. I can't believe I it. it is so much. Dude, he's doing that. his chemo. Yep. He's bringing his chemo to him. now. 
Has it been more than a month, you think? Maybe a few months. I don't know. He's literally doing Because he said sorry about last time. It's been more than a few oh. months. What do you mean? It's yeah. been more than a month. Because yeah. he said sorry about last time. So that. he's uh, come before. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. YouTube videos on how to yeah. answer. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Oof. Fist tight there. Pretty good. There you go. I think I had worse than my last physical. I will I see you on... It's so Let's bad. See. It's... Afternoon of the 15th. Stay a little longer. Wow. Oh, he's so lonely. Yeah, I got a long in solitary there. confinement, yeah. basically. Yeah. Two hours. Uh -huh. I'll give you another 10,000. Uh -huh. Wow. He Five looks so defeated hour. right now. He does. How is he's going to run out of he money? He needs human interaction. Eventually. I mean, 11, 11 million. million dollars is a lot. <laughs> 10,000 is nothing. One it'll take him a, it'll take him like maybe a lifetime to <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Okay. To run out of something. Never mind. Game will be seven card. I'll deal since you are encumbered. Oh my gosh. One of these days when you come up here, I'll be dead. My money over there. What happens to it then? What if I ask you to give it to my family? Wow, he gave up? Okay. Would you do it? If I said yes, would you believe me? Oh, I cut the cards. No. He's so dead. This is weird. Wow. Oh my gosh. Dang. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, he's getting skinnier. Don't do math, guys. This is what your life turns into. <laughs> he, did, he never did math. This is horrible. I don't make math. It's kind of funny he never tried his own product. I know. Dang. This is so weird to see because I was just so convinced that he literally didn't care about his family anymore. It's I think, uh, I mean, plot twist. Oh my yeah. gosh. I mean, that's all he has left, right? That's all. That's it. Did she know it was fake? She might have. Why did he do that? He did it in order to give her that the cops would hear and make it seem like she was completely innocent. Innocent. Mm. Yeah. That it was completely his under his thumb rather than her cooperative involvement. That's um, crazy. So that makes sense why he was crying while he was saying it. Right. That's so man, they just keep doing these plot twists. It's yeah. like subverting your expectations. Because it, it would have made sense. We it was so believable because we believed it. Yeah. I mean, we did we, we That's believed That's why you it. can never like so, believe anything Walter says because yeah. he's always lying and like you never know what's yeah, true. I know. Yeah, this is insane. Especially because of the venom against uh Jesse. Mm -hmm. So right. it, it just felt authentic. Yeah. It mm -hmm. just felt really, really, really believable within the context. So you think that how his hatred for Jesse was real? Yes. Yes. Oh, definitely. He, they were going to kill him right there in the Todd spot. He's that. like a mafia boss. His yeah. family matters to him still. Yeah. yeah. And his family always matters. <laughs> family, family is, is all. all. <laughs> La familia <laughs> is so <laughs> <la. laughs> Okay, he is leaving now. Or dropping a package off. I don't What's know. the money know. for? He was looking at a box of uh of like drinks or something and then he it was hollowed it out yeah. and then or hollowed it out. It was out. like a pull you out of class. Oh, she's back. A nutrient type drink. That sounds very important. You can take it in here, okay? Here he is. Hey, Aunt Marie, um, what what's going on? Hold on a sec, honey. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he went. He left. Son, it's me. Please don't let on. Carmen's nearby, right? Now she cannot know. Wow. Oh my gosh! Yes. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Did he know it was fake? I don't know what's going on. Yeah. No, he didn't. He didn't. It was a surprise to him. Son, the things that they're saying he... about me, I did wrong. I, I made some terrible mistakes. But the reasons were always things happened that I, 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 I never intended. I never intended. <sighs> Wow. Oh, goodness. Son, we, we don't have much time. It's Lewis's family still at 4848 Newcomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, he's he's a good kid. He's, he's like you. He'll understand. <laughs> He'll understand why we have to kill him. Lewis. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Dang. Lewis, but it's for you, your mother, and your sister. Mm. 
He wants it. them to get at least a, a small percentage. Yeah, yeah. small amount. Dang. Wow. Wow. That's small. But that's yeah. crazy. I think it was all that I could fit into the box. If anyone says a word, the police will take it. Man. He's bringing his son into the middle of this. That's so awkward. Is his son going to deny it? It's so uncomfortable. Um, wow, look at that. I don't know. I wanted to give you so much more. What is he like? What is he thinking right now? Can you hear me? Do you understand? You want to send money? Yes. Good, good, good. So you you talk to Lewis, right? You killed uh, Uncle Hank. You killed him. No, no, no. Oh, no. Wow. No. What you did to Mom, you asshole. Oh, you killed gosh. Uncle Hank. Oh. Listen to me. You've got to listen. To Just me. shut up. Just stop it. Stop. Stop it. I don't want anything from you. No. I don't give a shit. You, you this money killed Uncle Hank. You killed him! Needs this money. Can't all be for nothing. Oh my gosh! Shut up! Please. you just just leave us alone, you asshole! Why are you still alive? Why don't you just just die already? Oh my gosh! They think he was talking to his aunt. Oh my gosh! Oh, Walter's life is so depressing. Oh God! The pain! There's no joy in this show. Oh, why? What are you doing, bro? He's in such desperation mode right now. We haven't even cut back to Jesse. I know. Oh, mm -hmm. Jesse. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, is he? I'd like to speak to the agent in charge of the Walter White investigation. What? Walter, Walter White. White. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh wow. Hello? What? He wants Sir? them to get him? Yeah. Sir, are you still there? Maybe. You ready for that drink now? Dimple pinch. Neat. He, he's gonna come to his senses right now. He's giving up, and then he's gonna stand up yeah. and run out. Once he has a, has a drink, he'll wake up. Yeah, he'll be like, wait a minute, guys. For us, it's always been science first. <laughs> go back. That's it. That's his you, partner. Would you? Right? Would you go back, please? There. Exactly. <laughs> but just yesterday, your charity, the Gretchen mm -hmm. and Elliot Schwartz Foundation, announced a twenty-eight million dollar. On Charlie Rose. <laughs> for drug abuse treatment centers throughout the Southwest. Couldn't just ignore what's going on in our own backyard. That's wrong. But I'm sure <laughs> that there are people who should, of the New York Times. What? Wrote a column suggesting that the grant was a kind of publicity maneuver to shore up the stock price of Bray Matter Technologies because of your Wow. with Walter White. Well, that's not exactly the To cleanse the way. yourself, Ooh. so to speak, of having a methamphetamine kingpin as co-founder <laughs> Charlie, I'm glad you brought that oh up. Oh my gosh. Since we're talking about a person who, who was there early on, but who had virtually nothing to do with the creation of the Ooh. Oh, oh. Is, is so that what, what he's doing? Walter White. <laughs> he's gonna kill him? <laughs> I have no idea. You know, to be honest, the company name. The company name. We, we came up with it by combining our names. Uh, Schwartz means black, black plus white makes gray. It's gray matter technologies. Exactly. His contribution begins in Ah. Uh, wow. This is seriously what's going to get him up and going again. Yeah. Wow. And he goes back to get the and some evidence rice in. Of reaching as far as yep. Europe. So my question is, is Walter White still out there? No, he's not. You sound very sure. I am. I, I, I can't speak to this Heisenberg that, that, that people refer to. Whatever, whatever he became, the, the sweet, kind, brilliant man that we once knew, he's gone. Wow. The theme oh, song. Heisenberg resurfaces. The theme song. You hear that? Oh my gosh, he's gone. Yeah, they show up and he's gone. He's gone. Bow, meow. Wow. 
That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, the song. That's cool. Oh my goodness. Wow. They got the theme song there at the oh end. That's crazy. Gosh. Wow, what the heck? I feel like I needed that episode to come down from the last episode. Yeah, that was definitely a, cal a calmer one. It had some moments. <laughs> we're comparing it. Yeah. If we're comparing it's still it. still intense. But, no. But it, yes. a lot calmer than the oh. last one. I want to analyze this Jesse. for a second here. I can't believe Let's it. Let's work backwards in time. Let's just talk about this moment for a second. Okay. So he's sitting there giving up because Walt Jr., you know. Hates him. Hates him. He sits down and he's, he's given up. And then what is it about what they said that made him say, no, it's not over. Because he said he checks their stock every day. He checks their company and he thinks about, he stews on the fact that he helped make that company what it was. Mm -hmm. And they're con saying his contribution was basically nothing. nothing. It almost always coming back to pride for Walt. Yeah. yeah. How valuable his work is. Like they took his life's work, the, the gang, right? His uh -huh. money and that. So it's not, it's just not over. Because it because it reinforces the gang and the fact that they took his life's work. And he said he keeps saying this can't all be for nothing. Mm -hmm. And people are denying that I even did anything. All the great things that I did, all mm -hmm. the things that I built, it was me. It was right. my creation. People have to know, you know. So do you think what happened, they intentionally, I think they intentionally, it feels like maybe there was an intentional misleading going on. Because when he see after the whole knife fight thing, do you think he takes the baby purely because how he wants to preserve Skylar through it all? Because he knows that it's going to get out right now. So he takes the baby, he makes the phone call, then he drops the baby off. And then he's like, I'm making it so that it seems like they'll have a better case. Do you think that that? He's smart. Probably. I, I feel like because there was that shot where he sees them and he's like, we're a family after the whole knife fight thing. And I thought that something, again, we we said like, when will he get it through his thick skull? What is going on at that moment? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, maybe he did realize like, oh shoot, it's about to go down for them. So I'm going to make, I'm going to lessen the blow for them. So that's why he took the baby and made the phone call. That know. is interesting. I feel like there's some kind of combination. It's not as simple yeah. as that. He's confused yeah. still as a person. I mean, it's he's not confused. just like, there's always well, like I know a I'm going to save my family of... by doing this. Maybe a mix of how like a combination this, of natural, but... like impulsive yeah. like actions. Very mixed with, impulsive. He's Let mixed with like child. he's really good at like thinking on his feet. So I don't know how much of it was premeditated. Right. But how does he get back to the Southwest? How's he gonna do that? Do you think? Yeah. Just hitchhike? There's only one episode left. Yeah. I'm just like, he looks what? Different now. I mean, he's. How is yeah, there only how is one left? Be wrapped up in one episode. I feel like that was the main like surprise for me because it's like so convincing that he's like just gone crazy, right? Mm -hmm. And he hates everyone, and now it's like, oh no, I care about my family. Yeah, it I think was it was fake, the, it was that it was part of it was the Hank death. But still, I think that realization, like once Hank died. Uh, I think that it was like, I'm just going to do what I can to try to get my family out of this situation. Hmm. Because, I mean, they made that such a significant moment. He's like that silent crying thing. And I don't know, I, it did play it like, is he, did he go just like crazy after that? Or yeah, I, I think he went crazy against Jesse because he realized Jesse is not my real family. Mm -hmm. And I don't, mm -hmm. he's dead to me. So I don't mm -hmm. care about him because he ratted me out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he probably bl blames Jesse for the death of Hank, but he also partly blames himself. And then he's like, okay, now everything's gone down. I just got to get my family out of this situation. Yeah. yeah. And get and get them to be able to, because remember he wants them to do the disappear yeah. with him. Mm -hmm. And then once they refuse to do that, he does what he can to, to soften the blow against the- He thinks giving, it them, does make giving it more, the money will fix their lives. Yeah. It, the money doesn't matter. Right, guys. it doesn't it's, even matter. What does it, it matter? Does, it may, yeah, after you've completely demolished them emotionally. Oh, yeah. they'll give you money. Like, they're like matter. gonna, they they're gonna care. die, unless they go through serious healing, they're gonna die traumatized by your yeah. actions, right? Yeah. So it's like- It makes it a lot more complex though, because you- As he, it should be. He, yeah, no, he yeah. really is. From his perspective, he really is like the one who is just self-sacrificing every step of the way for his family. And it's so twisted, but it's yeah. like. But now it's not to a certain extent. I mean, it is still the pride. There's, it's the yeah, pride yeah. of the. I mean, the, there's always been the pride. So complicated. Yeah. It's so complicated. There's so many. Because it's not just pure, it's it's twisted, right? It's all like mixed together and it's become something dark. Something that could have been noble has become a source of pain. Yep. Even though yep. he ha maybe had good intentions at the beginning or even throughout, there's some good intentions in there. 
Man. It doesn't. It doesn't make it right. I genuinely wonder how this is going to end. It's how does this I, end? I don't, uh, he, did, he, he doesn't realize that like the most important things in life are not money. <laughs> like, so he gets the yeah. That's I guess that's the point. It's like how is that going to be a satisfying ending? He gets the money back and he kills the Nazi guys. And how is he well, going to give? Maybe kills. That's what the guy. Maybe kills partner. Jesse. Maybe kills Jesse. Maybe kills his old no. his old chemistry partner or whatever. Oh, because you think he's going against he's Gretchen and yeah and Elliot? That would be crazy. That's what I'm thinking because he like takes them hostage or something. Someone yeah. who helped build the business. I don't know. I don't know if that's how, it. I don't know. How would he even be able to give his family the money because they're being watched so closely? Yeah, I I have no idea what the play and is. Like it's over. I don't. We have one more episode left. His options are so small. Poor Jesse. <sighs> poor poor Jesse. That was so so terrible. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to just respond to some commenters, and I don't know what you guys think. People are like, "Oh, it's so like hypocritical of you to be anti Walt, but pro Jesse and pro uh, and even pro Mike, like being mad that Mike died mm -hmm. and stuff." It's more complicated than just bad person, good person. No, it is. It's also more complicated than our. I feel like I have a the different opinion so than we just like yeah. weigh out their morality and then that determines how what their likability is that's not the case mm -hmm. we don't like walt because of his morality but also because of his personality mm -hmm. right and so here's the deal the show has done nothing to make us feel like as an audience mike was a horrible person to his family members now he might be he probably is to a certain extent just as bad as walter is but they didn't show that. You see what I'm saying? Mm. They didn't show that. So we don't have, in, there's no personal investment in that in that part of the story. Same thing with Jesse. We've seen Jesse do horrible things, but the horrible things that he's done has always been at the behest of Walter, per se, that we have seen. We don't know what he did beforehand. The worst things that he's done has been at the command of Walter, and we've seen a personality in Jesse that is way more likable than Walt. It's like how, how a person is portrayed to treat the people within their trust circle within like the closest people to them is determines kind of how much sympathy you have for them exactly you know that's I mean? exactly the because, point that i'm trying to make yeah because yeah. you see jesse have these moments where he's like caring about a bug or like this little kid yeah who's like all alone he always cares for or the his kids, friends combo or his and, friends yeah he's loyal and he Walt. sticks up for them and Walt. he's not he's not double-minded or two-faced and constantly like de deceiving everyone and lying to everyone he loves right. he's like he's very straightforward. He'd rather break Even up with though, Andrea than lie to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Even though yeah. there's like, yeah, he does terrible things and it doesn't mean that he's a good person. Right. Uh, these things contribute to like how you feel about him as a character versus Walt who treats people like trash. Even though you could say he, you know, he's doing this all for his He family. has his like motivations blah, blah, blah. or whatever. But, but it's even like, those are nuanced because they're not really. He treats people so nasty and you can't say that that fight in the bedroom between him and Skylar was fake. That was real when he was right. intimidated her right. and saying, oh, what are you going to do? And oh, like, true, that was true. super like uh, abusive. He has treated a Jesse like trash, the person who he was like taking on as this second son. Yeah. He has like been so disrespectful and like, and so led by his ego and so like just betraying people left and right. Oh yeah, let's hire a headhunter, kill this person, kill this person. I don't care about them anymore. Okay, Jesse you isn't have no one that you can trust or who like, trusts you. Yeah. And it's like Mike, you, he had his granddaughter and he was like, oh, like grandpa. It like, doesn't even matter. So so Mike was a <laughs> Mike was a hit, hit man. Yeah. Sure, he was, he probably killed a It's the people. fact that they're not they like, didn't show us reason yeah. to not like him. I think it's That's the mainly point. the fact that they Same thing with Gus. Yeah. We, Gus was an awesome villain and he was a very likable villain. I commented this. Oh, why aren't you so anti-Gus if you're anti-Walter? Walt is an unlikable protagonist. Gus was a likable antagonist. Mm -hmm. you it's know not, I mean? yeah, it's so, not that we're like basing our liking for the characters based on their morality. Obviously, they should be brought to justice and they should pay for their All crimes. of them. In, in but a, yeah. if you're going based on like your enjoyment or like how much you care about them, in the show. And how you want to see them succeed. It's like the people who have not actively betrayed and lied to everyone they care about are the ones you're gonna like feel feel more for. Like yeah. you feel like the the heartbreak of Hank and it's like, yeah, he has lied to you like completely right. throughout this whole thing. And he's been he's been actively hurting people you care about right. and like working against you at every turn. And then you see how much, you know, Walt appears to care for Hank at the end and he doesn't want him to die. And he's like so devastated by this because he's family. Right. But it's like family isn't just about life or death. It's not right. about who lives or dies. It's about how you treat the people while they're here. Yes, like how exactly. you love
love them and care for them and the actual actions that you like you can't just say like oh i'm so heartbroken that he died when like everything that you've done has led to this moment <laughs> like right. it's, it's because of you that this right. is happening right. so it hasn't shown walt care for any other character without also backstabbing them but and, all these with other characters, a, and without yeah. without it being Double somehow motives. having to do with his pride and his ego right. and what yeah. he wants yeah. never yeah. about genuinely what's the good for the other person right. but always like, about will, like yeah, yeah. it can't be for like even he's trying to send the money to his son it's still still my work can't be for nothing mm -hmm. you know what i mean exactly mm -hmm. you um, have to not see me as a villain right exactly i don't want you to see that's me exactly as the point mm -hmm. so so like if they had shown throughout the show a duality of moments where we could like walter the only times they ever did that was things that he did for jesse which is now ironic because jesse's dead to him you know what i mean so like when he runs over the guys in the, in the car he they, he had no reason to do that mm -hmm. he had no reason to do that yeah he did it purely out of a care for jesse yeah the only times they done that they, they showed a sympathetic side to Walter that genuinely was not dual motives, mm -hmm. but just a singular motive of I'm just doing this crazy thing for this other person yeah. was Jesse. But even that, it was a horrible thing that he did mm -hmm. for him. Never a redeeming moment. Jesse has his redeeming moments. Yeah. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Yeah. Mike is just a cool character. Mm -hmm. Walt is like sometimes a cool character, yeah. but it dr it's drowned by the fact that you've seen him personally the fact that be horrible to people that are innocent. He has the energy of a yes. slimy weasel. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that it's so ironic because on a moral scale, yeah, we're totally black and white in our assessment of all of the characters. But on a likability scale, it's not that black and white. But now, so, anyway. yeah, at the end, it is it feels more nuanced because it's like now you're seeing him so defeated and now you just feel like p you pity him right. because it's like this like is- Like Gollum. Yeah, like Gollum, yeah. right? Like this is what you, you like your actions have come to. You feel bad for him. Right. but. Not in a sense that you and you've seen also like you've him. Seen Jesse, it's just that you like you just pity him. And the other it's thing is sad. you've seen yeah. Jesse struggle with the morality of it, but you have not seen right. Walt necessarily like when Maybe he goes momentary, to momentary like he feels bad for a second, but then he moves on. Yeah, barely. Jesse finally, at the end, but no, the you have the, worthless. He's the throwing it away. Right. Right. The existential questions that Jesse asks in in the rehab group. That's what I mean. You actually see him like right. there. There's an internal struggle there. If you're really cynical, you could say even Walt's desire to give the money to his family. Family is a way of making himself feel better about himself. No, that's that's because, the, that exactly right. the point. You know what I mean? It's like right. his because his, it's not his greed is mixed in uh, and his pride is mixed in with it. He wants the money for himself. He wants to sit on his pile of money and be like the king. Right. But if he says like it's all for my family, I just I want to leave it to them. It makes him feel better about himself that he is not the villain. Yes. So his work actually pays off. Right. In the same way that the, his work for gray matter, like a truly humble person would just let it go. It's in yeah. the past. It's um, it's not about my name. It's about exactly. the the good work that they're doing. Or right, whatever. right, exactly. And now they're like having this charity for drug abuse. <laughs> it's like oh it's my hilarious. God. Okay, ah! we're gonna finish the show. Oh my god, guys, gosh. we're at the end. We're ah! gonna finish the show. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Okay, well, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment, uh, letting us know your thoughts. Join in the discussion. You can go watch the last episode with us right now on our Patreon and get full length uncut reactions, early access to Better Call Saul and uh, El Camino in the next stuff that we're doing go check out our patreon and we will see you for the final episode see you then see ya